has here we discuss about division and germer experiment the scientists of division and germer collectively for the first time proved that the wave nature of electron to prove the wave nature of electron they use the experimental arrangement like this now this consists of a electron gun electron gun contains a filament f this filament f is a uh, coated with a uh, barium oxide and it is made up of tungsten this filament f is made up of tungsten material and it is coated with a uh, barium oxide and which is heated by a low tension battery and uh, the electrons which is released uh, from the filaments are uh, accelerated by a potential applied to the chamber that is a now see here for the a and the filament f between these two we apply the potential difference required potential difference uh, which is connected to high volt battery now here it is the rheostat arrangement using this rheostat arrangement we can change the potential difference between the filament and this uh, box a now when between f and a the potential difference is changed uh, accordingly the velocity of electrons also changed here for this a we are applying the positive potential as the positive potential applied to the a is increased uh, the velocity of electrons also increased means uh, the desired the required velocity of electrons can be achieved by changing the potential difference between the f and a now this a is having the fine holes whenever these electrons are passing through these fine holes uh, along the axis of this a then the electrons uh, become as a electron beam means a fine beam of electrons collimated beam of electrons is obtained when electrons allowed to pass through the holes of the a now the collimated fine electron beam is allowed to fall on the nickel target now on the nickel target the layers of the nickel target are uh, scatters the electrons now the electrons which are scattered in different directions are collected by the movable collector the movable collector is uh, moving on a circular scale now this movable collector is connected to a galvanometer galvanometer records the current now when these electrons are collected then these electrons uh, constitutes a current that current is recorded by the galvanometer the intensity of uh, current is directly proportional to the deflection in the galvanometer if a more deflection produced in the galvanometer means a more intensity is the for electron current means a more number of electrons are received by the galvanometer here and uh, this experiment is repeated for the different scattering angles different scattering angles of the electron beam here here theta is the scattering angle it is the angle between the incident electron beam and the diffracted electron beam this is a diffracted electron beam this is diffracted from the crystal layers of the nickel target and theta is the angle of scattering here for different angle of scattering uh, here we are measuring the intensity using the galvanometer means uh, here we are moving this galvanometer around the circular scale when it is moving along the circular scale for a different angles of uh, scattering we are measuring the different intensities now this experiment also repeated for the different voltages between the f and a it is repeated for the voltages between the f and a from 44 volt to 68 volt initially between f and a we apply the 44 volt and thereafter we are increasing slowly from 44 to 68 44 45 46 47 so like that for every voltage between the f and a we are repeating that for a different angles of scattering we are finding the intensity by the by using the galvanometer here now at a particular voltage at a 54 volt at 54 volt and uh, 50 degrees of angle of scattering we observe that the peak in a uh, intensity means a uh, maximum intensity of electrons is uh, obtained uh, when we apply the potential difference 54 volt between f and a and when this angle of scattering is 50 degrees in such a case we observe that a strong peak a peak in the intensity of uh, electrons if we plot the graph between intensity and uh, the angle of scattering the graph will be obtained like this here is the intensity values are taken on y axis now this is the maximum intensity at an angle of uh, theta is equals to 50 degrees at an angle of 50 theta is equal to 50 degrees at an angle of scattering angle of 50 degrees and uh, 
potential difference between F and A is a 54 volt means accelerating voltage for the electrons is 54 volt we observe that a strong peak in the intensity means intensity is a maximum now at this scattering angle and a potential difference we find the wavelength associated with the electrons the wavelength associated with the electrons is measured using the electron diffraction techniques using electron diffraction techniques we observe that the wavelength associated with the electrons is 0.165 nanometers here the wavelength associated with the electrons is measured as a 0.165 nanometers using the electron diffraction measurements or electron diffraction techniques and uh, using de Broglie relation we find the wavelength associated with the electrons now we know de Broglie relation is 1.227 divided by root uh, voltage nanometers now lambda is equal to 1.227 divided by root v here v is the 54 it is approximately equal to 0 0.167 nanometers here 0 0.165 nanometers is the theoretically measured wavelength of the electrons using the electron diffraction techniques now using the formula now we find that lambda is equals to using de Broglie's relation lambda is equal to 0 0.167 nanometers means theoretically and experimentally the wavelength associated with the electrons is almost all same nearly same it is nothing but the strongly we proved that means a uh, division germany proved that there is a wave nature for the electron like this because uh, theoretically using the formula of uh, de broglie wave, uh, wavelength lambda is equal to we find 0 0.167 nanometer and experimentally using uh, electron diffraction techniques uh, we find lambda is equal to 0 0.165 nanometer there is a uh, agreement uh, of a uh, wavelength means both uh, theoretical and uh, practical wavelengths of the electron beam is a uh, same that is 0 0.5 0 0.165 nanometers and 0 0.167 nanometers with this division and germer proved that there is a wave nature associated with the electrons